What's up everybody? Welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. In this episode here, we'll be looking at the Thrustmaster TMX Pro. This here is a racing simulator designed to give you the best force feedback using both a gear and pulley system, giving you that nice realistic feel. Now, if you guys wanted your very own, be sure to check out Thrustmaster's link down below in the description. So with that being said, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. Alright, so this here's the box. Uh, now this one here is the Xbox slash PC version, but they also make a PlayStation version as well. On the top here it kind of showcases what you can go ahead and get with it. So you get the controller, the pedals, and you can get this attachment as well, sold separately of course. But it uh, gives you an idea of what you can do. So on the back it kind of shows the whole pulley and mechanical aspect of it. So you do get that gear system as well as a pulley system kind of working together to give you that nice realistic feel. Alright, let's go ahead and open this up. This here's everything that you get. Uh, so you get your controller or your steering, uh, you get your pedals, uh, and then you get a mounting bracket. Now, in terms of the pedals go, so they have these metal plates giving you a nice realistic feel of an actual car. You do get that clutch as well, so you can always go ahead and attach a shifter with And then you have a basic mount that will go ahead and plug directly into the controller, which will plug into the computer via USB. Now, it also has a power adapter, so just go ahead and plug right into the wall, and pretty straightforward stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and boot this thing up next and try it out. All right, so we have our TMX mounted onto our all new FGT Lite. Uh, this here is a brand new version of the next level racing, uh, racing simulator. So it should be kind of interesting to see. Uh, the pedals are quite nice to use. You can see that they're, they're, they don't require too much friction to go ahead and push the guns. And then in terms of the control goes, it's got a nice like, Nice choke kind of feel. Uh, buttons are really easy to, like, to reach and then the shifters are very nice and solid. Uh, so it does tighten itself using like a clamp underneath, which is kind of neat. Uh, most of the other clamps that I've seen before, especially with like, the Logitech model, it kind of slips. This one here is actually quite snug and I'm like yanking on it and it's not really going anywhere at all. So that being said, let's go ahead and try this thing out and see how the force feedback works. Uh, and then we're using Project Cars 2. We're going to play a quick game here uh, using the Lamborghini Aventador and kind of see exactly what kind of force feedback we get. So let's go ahead and hit start and try this out. All right, three, two, one, go. All right, so far I am getting some response. Um, getting a nice, interesting kick. Maybe because it's got that belly, the, the uh, pulley system as well as the gear, you can tell that there's actually a significant difference compared to the Logitech. Now, I think it's actually a little bit easier to use than the Logitech. Um, and then in terms of the movement goes, it's quite accurate in terms of how quickly it responds. Now, this car here is actually quite hard to drive, if you haven't already noticed, uh, but there is a lot of feedback that I'm getting back. And I, like, I can actually feel it vibrate as we're continuously driving over bumps. And as we're continuing to get faster, the steering wheel is stiffening up, which is really cool. And we just did a flip. <laughs> All right, let's get back on the road here. There we go. All right. Shift. And through the tunnel. All right. And we're out. So we're in fourth gear. Pop into fifth, and we're gonna go and downshift now to fourth. And even with the downshifts, the steering wheel actually kind of like vibrates, so it kind of gives you a nice realism feel. Um, I think it's, they actually did a great job with this. No wonder it's, I can see why it's so popular, just because it's so easy to use. And it's really very responsive. And in terms of the setup goes, I mean, I didn't have to download any special software. All I really had to do is download the driver and it was literally plug and play, which is actually pretty great. Um, I've had bad experiences before with the Logitech where I have to download the software, uh, configure it, and do a lot of that fun jazz. Well, I wouldn't say fun, but a lot of that jazz altogether. All right, we're on that straightaway, go heading underneath the bridge, full throttle, working our way, six gear. 
<laughs> we're at hitting 250 kilometers per hour, almost passing the 275 mark, just did. 280, 287, 290, and we're running out of space. Okay, so we're down to 260 again. But you can see the way that, watch this, what I do. Watch what happens with the steering if I let it go. Just turn it. You can see how quickly it's moving. So it kind of showcases you exactly what you're fighting against um, and then how they kind of program that into the controller. Now in terms of the acceleration, I'm sure some of you guys have the questions on that. The throttle is very, I mean, I wouldn't say sensitive. It's actually quite accurate. Um, and there's not that much resistance in terms of the brake goes. It's literally just a button versus uh, some of the other ones, which is a lot more stiffer. I might actually kind of prefer this route. Uh, okay, <laughs> so we're just heading on to that turn. Let's see if we can make that without braking anymore. And we're out, nice. All right, so we're driving with a broken windshield, of course. Okay, let's see if I can change views. Whoa, okay, there we go. And yeah, kind of gives you an idea of what it's all about. I think they did a great job overall in terms of the design concept. Pretty straightforward. I mean, the, these really well materials throughout. And if you're just kind of getting into the whole simulator thing, this might be a very good choice. Uh, I think they actually did a great job. Comparing to the Logitech, I kind of like the feel of the Logitech a little bit better. Uh, Price-wise, this one's a little bit more expensive, mainly because of the uh, force feedback mechanism. Uh, the Logitech uses uh, just a simple gear. This one here is a pulley as well as a gear. So it kind of gives you that double-sided feedback. So if you're trying to look for more realism, this here is the way to go. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you had any questions about this steering, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye. <laughs>